hey, hello. Um, okay, last night uh, we ended up with the pocket and I already made my next page decorative. That's the pocket page. And I made a large booklet in it with a little closure just to give it some extra touch. And I did not do anything inside. I will keep that for the last part uh, to see how many papers I have left and then I know what I want to do with it. So I'm just making a little bow just to give it a little extra touch to this little booklet, little big booklet. And that go in here. And then yeah, a photo al um, a baby album is needed to make photo place place for photos. So yeah, that's why I created on the front a two photo mats with a nice um, picture right here and on the back. I did that same thing and I kept this loose so you can slice your picture underneath. All right, so that is what I'm going to do. I don't know um, if you want to see me doing this, but I'm going to film. Uh, the blue part so if you like to see me doing that then keep watching all right stay tuned all right so welcome back and today i'm going to um, decorate the last page and that's the pocket page and um, i'm just going to decorate it as two photo mat places and then decorate the uh, large booklet so first of all what i did last night was cut out all my um, tags with the, 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 the cards from the card sheet and on that sheet there is also this little strip actually two strips so what I'm going to do I'm just going to fold it in half cut it down um, yeah, you can also cut it down in a wide position that we need it let's use this one as a guideline and then you have already what you need so I'm just going to cut it down then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these and you can do that with your scissor or with your knife whatever you're going to like I'm going to use this knife I'm just going to cut all the edges off that I don't like and I can flip this. So I'm only keeping the brown little stripes. So this one is ready and this one is what I am going to use. So I'm only keeping the brown little edges. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. This one too. Okay, so these two are done. Now I'm going to use this one too. And I'm a little nervous today, or nervous, nervous. I don't know if it's nervous, but today we invited a, um, how do you call that? Well, we are, we'll, we, 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 we are calling it an airco and I don't know if that's the same name for an English I think it is but anyway a guy who can make your house cooler I think you call it an airco okay um so we invited one guy to our house and he will come this afternoon um to see if it's possible um to um that we install a airco in our house because it's a very very old house you, you see that you can see that um, in a video for two years ago when we had that storm um, and um, yeah so first of all we wanted to check if it's possible to do um, to place such an um, echo in our house so I'm very very curious if it's possible so yeah because last year we had a terrible summer 
And when I say terrible summer, that means it was so hot and so long. It's not only one or two days. No, it was, I believe it was two, three months. So hot. And we are not used to that. So, um, yeah, for me that was terrible. Especially when I'm upstairs here crafting for you guys. So, yeah, and, and, and especially at night. My hubby is really, he works outside on the street all day. So you can imagine that when he is finished working, that he wants to cool down. Especially when it's 4 to 5 degrees all day long with a good heating sun above his head. And he's bald, so <laughs> so um, yeah. So you can imagine that he wants to spend a nice sleep or come into the house that's a little cooler than outside. So I'm really anxious to know if it's possible to get such airco in our house. So I'm yeah, I'm a little excited. Yeah, and how much it is, of course. I think it's very expensive. If it's possible, I think it's very expensive, but I think it's worth it. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. All right, so. That is that for this part. Now I'm going to see what I like to use. I think I like that brown one. Let's grab some leftover pieces. And I don't know, ah, and it's not long enough. Mm, shoot, shoot me. <sighs> it's not long enough. I hate it. I really liked, like using this piece. But it's not long enough, dear. No, it isn't. Then we can use this one if we like that. And I don't like it but then we also have this piece we can use this I think we are going to do that or this one is also nice I think I'm going to do yeah to pop it up a little more I'm going to use this one so I'm going to cut a strip and Of course, I need four strips for the front and back. I want to do the same one. Okay, so I'm just going to measure these. And I'm just going to glue them down. As you all know how it goes. It's really simple. It's so simple. Yeah. Let's see, what else? What else does happen? Hmm, I don't know. Can I tell anything more what happened last days? I don't know. There was always something to tell, of course. I don't think that you all will like to know all my things. <laughs> As some of you do, I guess. But but hey, 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 hey. Sometimes I forget to smudge the these little swips but if you do forgetting it's no big deal no it isn't okay let's see what's yeah i think this one is the right spot for it this it's that simple oops now for the um, 
put a photo mat. I am going to cut a piece and it does not have to be exactly the same because I am just going to cut these in half because I want to split them. I'm just going to cut this down, fold it in half, just using the scrap queen way and cut something in half. to glue this right here with a little a little tiny edge so your photo frame um, your photo mat fits nicely in that frame Is just a little tiny edge all the way around so now you can see that we have an opening and that was the meaning so I'm just going to see if I have a nice piece and I think I now I can use that brown oh yeah so it is still coming back let's cut the short one well no, I can't use two oh darn and let's cut it a little smaller so it will fit inside perfect oh i eyeball it Ooh. and it worked okay that was just a good shot all right so that's that See, now I still have used this paper, so this paper is coming back to this one. That's just how I like it. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the back. Um, you want to see me doing that? Well, if you do, then stay tuned. <laughs> Why not film it? Oh yeah. Why not? Why not? Let's do a little chit chat. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. You know, I'm still, I'm so grateful every single day when I wake up and see my email. I'm going to tell you, that's, that's always the first thing that I do. I have my phone uh, right on my desk uh, at my bed just for my wake up call. I use it as my wake up call and the first thing I do when I wake up is grab my phone and just see what happens that night um, if there are people they are sending me a message I always like to check that first and if there are any questions I try to um, answer them right away and um, yeah and I'm, I'm so and I read the comments and I always love them. I'm not, I'm not um, gonna, and, and I used to do, I, I, I used to do that to uh, right away apply to every comment, but that is not possible. I get so much comments every day, but I read them, I read them every day. Every day, all the comments I read, and if there are questions, I will ask them if they are, uh, correct questions some questions that I get every every single day so some questions I do not answer them all the time sometimes I do but not all the times you have no idea how many questions I get at one day which glue I use I keep telling that in all the tutorials arc glitter glue and clear glue from the action so yeah that's just I can't apply. I have the I have not to have the time to apply every single question, every single same question. So, but yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So if you have that question, then I'm so so sorry. If I do not apply your question, reply your question, because I told so many times. But. I can't expect 
also same as, as this part perhaps you already um, passed forward and I don't blame you because yeah sometimes I think it's boring to see what I'm doing uh, well this page is exactly the same as the back page of this pocket page but yeah sometimes I just like to chit chat and give you some information on how I do things or yeah, what happens in my life and that's yeah that's something that I like to do to give it not that professional <laughs> boring tutorials I just like sharing with you my thoughts and ideas and that's just how I like it how to do my my videos to give it just that that extra personal touch I don't know I get so many um, uh, comments on people that are feeling that um, they are crafting together with me and that's such a nice comment or reaction to my videos I really like that and uh, it was not my intention but yeah some people do feel that and and that's that's always giving me a big smile I really like that okay so for this one is already done see how easy that is it is so with a few little designs uh, paper you can create a nice page so now I go to the booklet and see what we can make of that so I'm going to move this just a little and see what we are using for this okay so for the start I'm going to use um, this organza ribbon for the closure I do not have a small one same as the pink one but I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to see what we is be needed for a bow and then I'm just going to cut about 10 centimeters or 4 inches longer and then I cut it in half and I glue it down with some double sided tape I'm just going to eyeball the middle Flip it so I am on the right spot. Grab the other one and glue it down. Okay, so now we can um, decorate the front. Uh, let's see. Okay, so um, I want this a little more stability. So what I do is I'm using a dark brown um, piece of cardstock. And I used that yesterday also. So I'm going to use a bit of dark brown cardstock too. But if you don't like that color, you can use, of course, anything you like. But I really like the dark brown extra to this, to use it. So yeah, to just give it a little more contrast. I don't know. So okay, so this is what I'm going to use. See, that's a nice, nice double edges. I just like that. Gives just a nice extra touch. All right, so now let's see what we are going to use for the background. And I am going to use the same one as the pink. Um, well, it should be handy if I do this. But I also can use this, so I can use two sides. Mm. Or shall I use this and then... Um, no, it's not needed to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to use this one. Yeah, 
so I can use the back too. Okay, let's cut it in the right direction. that is particularly a upside down I don't think so but let's give it a shot okay so yeah it's really simple just put your decoration paper on and um, back I hope I still can use this one yep I can so let's use it okay cut it down yeah oh, it's a very small strip but I always keep them you never know where it's handy for I will keep it plain and we'll see at the end what we have left for the papers or perhaps we can make some um, some photo mats inside I don't know I don't know exactly what I want for the inside but oh I don't want a, a I call that I only want the bows so it's easier to open them up. Okay, let's squeeze. Yep, that's good. Cutting the rest off. What's too long? And that's that. Okay. Let's see how easy that was. That was pretty easy. Cool. Yep, done. So now you can choose a image if you like to use an image or a balloon or something here in the um, or on this side. I think I want to do it on this side and on this side away from that ribbon um, to give it a nice extra touch and then um, we are done 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 um, and then we can go to the front yay cool okay thanks for watching thanks for joining me and see you in a second okay let's see I finished just up the front page and that's the last then we have complete the first page and yeah it's already nice and thick just how I like it but still we have so much place for uh, photos so I will consider that in the spine of course um, so but let us do first together the front of this page and um, again I inspired it a bit from my last wedding album and um, I really love how that turns out. So what I did is I made a little closure 
on here and then this I decorated with the leftover pieces I'm the square queen so I am use everything then this opens to the white and I did not decorate on the inside because you can do anything with it you can white on you can um, put your photos on small big whatever you're going to like so same as here a nice photo mat on the front and then inside we have kept it clean and then inside I made two four uh, three by four photo mats photo frames and then they flip up and so you have lots and lots of space to put your photos and that this is just a little closure you can um, put a little wet on the end and then I think it finishes it up real nice Okay, so that is what we are going to do. And um, I noticed this is not particularly a big closure. It's just, um, yeah, not only decoration, but also a little, um, just a little closure. It will not flip that bad, but it's just a little closure and a little extra embellishment. You could have made that same thing right here if you like, but I decide to do it up. So this will look like a big tag. That is my thought of it anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the pink one and let's do one together. Yay. Okay, the first thing we need is a sheet that will fit, of course, our front page. So I'm just going to grab the same paper as I did on the blue one. And we're just going to create two marks. And then we can cut out this beautiful paper. And here we go. So that is the work. Sorry, I have to clean up my blue one, otherwise I'm going to mix it all up. <laughs> okay, so then we have our base. Uh, let's smooch it up. So that is the base. Let's check if I do it good, otherwise I can cut a piece of if I like let's see well it's good that I checked it out because here above it's not completely straight so I am going to cut a little piece off let's check it again yeah that's way better okay always check double check okay so now this can be uh, moved away for just a second and now we are going to play with this piece okay so now the first thing I'm going to do is make a photo mat and I like to make my photo mat with a dark brown edge so it really pops up a little so first thing I cut out with some um, I use little off-white uh, paper for cutting my photo mat and I'm going to cut a photo mat at 418 by 618 so if your photo is 4 by 6 then it really fits nice so you really have a nice white edge all the way around next thing uh, I'm going to glue this down um, um, actually I don't have, I don't need an extra one. Oh, well, then it's for another page. Because I already made one for you guys. But let's do this together. Let's make a nice photo mat. Okay, um, this one up. So I'm just using dark brown. You can use any color, of course, you like. And if you don't don't want to use a nice dark edge then you can skip this part okay so now I have two photo mats uh, I only need one but it's for later <laughs> next uh, we are going to grab some cardstock 
has we are going to make two photo frames and first thing I'm going to cut and this I'm going to use um, 12 by 12 papers so if you are using A4 then just um, see what I'm doing. Um, I am going to cut this paper at six and a half inch. So if you're having an A4 paper then just cut it also at six and a half inch. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to score at a half inch and at four seven eight and i write it down for you guys i'm going to show you in a minute and then i'm going to cut this paper at nine one fourth inch and that is yeah you still can do that with an a4 paper so you can cut it down all right so that is one and for the next one I'm going to show you first what I have right down. Now what I like to do is, um, yeah, you still can see that this is pretty equal with this one. But I think at the end, but it's totally up to you. I think I cut this down just a little um, shorter. So yeah, is it down in line one four? Actually, it isn't. I'm going to cut it 918, I think. That's way better. I think we do that. And 918, just to give it that little more space when this is in here. So this fits better. I'm just going to adjust that. So. Not nine one four, but a nine one eight. And then I'm going to show you the measurements. One eight. That's better. Okay, a little adjustment right at the end. So again, what I like to do is I grab it in twelve by twelve paper. Then I am going to. Well, this is these measurements. I write it down. <laughs> these measurements are for my. Um, white so my white cardstock my white uh, photo frame paper i am cutting it at 418 by 618 inch and that is in centimeters 10.4 by 5 15.8 and that is for the white if you want to do exactly the same then glue it down and cut a dark edge all the way around and then i'm grabbing a 12 by 12 cardstock but you also can do that with an a4 of course cut it in the longest length uh, six and a half inches then uh, score at a half plus four seven eight inch and then after that you can cut it at nine one eight inch okay so write it down pause me <laughs> and write it down okay so that is what i'm going to do i am going to cut it at six and a half And of course, you can cut it right away at 918, whatever you like. Let's do that right away. And now I am going to score at a half and at 478. That's it. check if this fits nice and then it is yep we made a little adjustment a lot so store this we're going to need it in a second first we are going to focus on the first one so let's us attach this one first so it won't get lost so i'm going to attach my photo frame on the 
photo frame page with a nice edge all the way around, right, just how I like it. Here we go. Yep. Alright, so that is one. So this one is going right here to the left. So check if your hinge is on this side. And I'm just going to eyeball a little space. And I'm making two marks where I want to cut my opening. There is a dot and here it is. So keep it straight and just cut it down. Okay, then what I like to do is cut these corners just a little off. That gives it way better space to slide this in the opening. And when you are nicely move in here, just check. Hold it down, turn it, and glue this down. And just to give it another extra secure, I want to close the incision. Alright, so that is one. One we did. Perfect. All right, now the next one, I want to go on top of here, but I like this same as here. So I eyeball it. You can measure if you like, but I'm going to just eyeball it. And again, I'm making two marks. And I am going to make an incision. Oh, by the way, the air command just left and it is possible to place an air in my house. And that is for me really nice to hear because I was a little afraid that in my old low house, it's really low, very much lower than a standard house so yeah that is for me a nice news but we'll see if the price is good because it's not cheap it's not cheap at all but we'll hear about that in a few days all right so hold it hold it steady flip it down and place your tape over the opening all right so that is that and now on this one I choose uh, let's see uh, which oh yeah we did yep then we're going to use this image too okay so what I did was um, um, shall I do the decoration first mm, yeah why not why not or first the other two no I'm just going to do exactly the same as the other one so what I'm going to do is use my leftovers. I just love use my leftover pieces and we are going to do that together. So first things first, I'm just going to search for a piece for that little, um, I know I have one left, but this one is for the blue one. 
Um, so we're going to make one too. So I'm just grabbing a piece that is, oh yes, we can use this piece. Yes, we can. Okay. Yep, so I'm going to use this piece and um, let's cut it in two inch. And you guys have your uh, template, same as this one, so you can cut it out too. Um, you can. That's why I put that in. Okay. Now, of course, I only need one at this time, but it's better to cut right away too so then we have to okay so let's make a nice eyelet in let's watch this And the bottom, we don't have to score. <sighs> now, the only thing, and it's totally up to you, but the only thing I noticed for this was um, we have all these nice brown edges, and I did not do it on this one. That's up to you if you like that or not. I'm not going to do that either on the pink one. It's not necessary, but it's just an option I just want to tell you. So, first thing. I'm going to add my little label. Is this a label? I don't know. I'm just going to add this right here. And yes, I could have done this here, so the, but I just like doing it right there. I'm crazy, I know. So let's grab all the little pieces we have left. So why not? Let's bring it on. Let's bring it on. These are a little thicker. Let's bring it on all the little little pieces. All the this one is also. So why not? Why not? These are really too tiny. Diane, you really keep everything. So these are the smallest pieces. This one you don't have to need them. You can use that later. Oh, here's one more. Yeah, the small pieces we are going to use. Now, what I'm going to do first is see if there is any piece that is totally covering up. Hmm, there isn't. Okay. Um, shall I use them? I don't want to mix all the pieces. No, let's just start with this piece. It's still it's still a leftover piece, so why not use it? Okay, so let's cut it down. It doesn't have to be exactly the same piece as I do, of course. That's no need. You can use your scraps, whatever you're going to like using. Okay, now I'm starting at the bottom for now, for this one just to see how it goes. Now I don't want to use exactly the same piece, of course, at the top. That's not nice, but I want a piece that is complete. Mm, this one is nice, but this one is smaller, so I'm just going to use... Mm, yeah, I'm going to use this one. Okay, if I am cutting this right away, then I can cut it in half, and then I can use it two times. That's a good option. So I'm just going to fold this in half, and then I can use it twice. Is that a good idea or what?
All right, so think. Okay, now I'm going to use this piece. All right, now comes. And don't laugh, but I did that with the blue one, and uh, it worked perfectly. And real quick. So we have done the top and the bottom. Now it's really fun, fun. It's just fun to do. So you see, if I glue this down, you don't have to knead that much. So what I did now. Don't laugh, but just go with the flow. Now what I do is put a little on and just tear a piece off and glue it down. Oh, it's so easy. You don't have to use all that space. You don't see. You don't see it. So yeah, why why use them um, completely every... That is why I kept all my... See? Tear it down, glue it down, or you can cut it, of course, but tearing is way quicker. And that's how I just go down using all my leftover pieces. So yeah, why not? Use it. You can always throw it in your basket. But please use it. Okay. Um, I want a brown one. Just play a little with the colors. And then you can't go wrong. Really, you can't go wrong with this one. It's so simple. Now, check how far am I. Um, yeah, we can do a bit more. Let's say... Let's use, hmm, I think, which one do we like? Well, let's make these balloons. Tear it down. This is fun and quick to do. I think I'm not, yeah, we can. Um, wait just a second, wait, I think now we can use a large one, so let's use this again, or we, oh, let's flip it over, so we don't have the same one as the top, you can, but I don't like that, okay, let's move it on, and now, ta-da! It's time to glue your image down. So you see how quick that was? Don't waste your papers. Ta-da! See? It's that simple. It really is that simple. And now we just have to fix this little gap with some papers and yeah it really does not have to be perfect it doesn't just see what you have and if you don't want to use um, a full sheet yeah you still can use your scraps um, yeah, I think I like well I like the stripes so I'm just going to cut it down and I'm just going to measure so yeah, the only thing you need to measure is right now. Now what I like to do on short pieces, I like to make two little uh, marks. So it's easier to cut straight. Now let's see if my thing happens. Here we go. See, it's that simple. And now still I have still a lot uh, going on, but hey, we still can use it. Don't throw it away. We can use it. You never know what I 
use it for. I noticed that I have a little more leftovers in pink, but that is just because I was starting um, the pink album already. All right, so now for the next step is making, um, I think first we are going to make that balloon, not make, not going to make that balloon, but let's see which color do we like. to keep that back I think we do so what I'm going to do is glue this down of course on a little piece of chipboard and then we cut it out she was quiet <laughs> okay I am quiet now I like to smooch a little on the edges so the chipboard edge is gone all right so now let's make a hole in the middle let's grab a little blend to be a little high and now we punch it in oh I hope this works because the legs are not that nice to each other let's grab another one sometimes these oh this one is way better Sometimes the legs are not particularly nice and straight. And then I normally will use my uh, A tool to squeeze them together, but not on camera. That takes way too long. Okay, so now this is the closure. And now we are going to do um, the 3x4 photo mats. So let's cut. A few photo mats. Okay, so I will cut two pieces, two pieces that are three by four. Yep, there we are. And these I also like to glue them down on a leftover piece. Let's see if I can. them onto pieces. No, I don't think so. I think I will need another piece. Okay, that's one. Now I need a complete new new one. Oh dear. Hey that for a small piece, but it needs to be done. I just like this black. No, that's black. It's brown, the very dark brown cardstock. I just love it. Not in a complete album, but just to give it a little more contrast. Okay, so next thing we are going to make, going to use um, left over piece. You don't have to measure this. You can use your pencil just to create a good length. Okay, let's make a hinge. It's really easy. Hold it down, and you can glue this one down. Put 
Same paper. Let's see if that is. Yep, that's the same. Yeah, always checking. It's never, never too much time to check it out. Okay. Now I'm already thinking about that air cool. Oh my gosh. And if. We agree to place an air call. I already had a little conversation with my hubby that I already asked if we do this, does that mean that um, the air call can cool down the place where I used to craft? And that is because we have that bow in the living room and that goes to the computer room where I used to craft before I filmed. And um, so that area is also going to be uh, cooler if we place that airco. So, so I already said, wow, if that is, if that is the, the, the thing, then you know where I'm going to where I'm going to craft when it's hot because now it already is very very not very 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 hot but it is already a, a hot temperature upstairs here. Anyway, now we are to the part where I like to add my two little frames and I like to see them a little. So I'm just going to see where I am going to add these. Now I just want to keep these in the middle. Let's see. And now you still see them. So yeah, that is what I like. So I'm just going to add two dots first. And then make that incision. Move your balloon a little. So we can make that opening. Okay, let's cut the corners. That it makes it so much easier to slide this in. Fold these back in so it's easier to flip. Flip it over and glue it down. All right, so let's go to the next one. It's actually so easy. Now let's see. Do we want this? Is that? That's pretty much equal. I can go a little lower. Yep. I am pretty straight. Make two marks and cut away. little corners off and slide it in. And you don't have to uh, but it's it's easier to slide these right in on their 
place. Now again, I'm closing this down so it's easier to flip them over. Close your incision and that's that. That is all. Now what I did with the blue one is just place a little on this edge and I'm just placing a few balloons on that edge so you still can add your picture under. That is how I like it. Okay, that gives it just a little more interest, I think. Um, anyway, now the last thing we do, I, I will leave these again uh, plain. And then the only thing we need to do is grab some red Peel this open. Yep. Now, how much do we need? I really don't know. Um, it's it's not that long, but we want to make a little knob. Okay, so I'm just going to tie this up. Making another knob. I really like this thread. I don't know exactly how you call it, but I really like it because the knob is really tight. Nice. Alright, so now I am going to grab some of my beads and place them inside. This one really needs a little help. I need a little help. Here we go. Okay, now how long do we want this? I don't know. Let's say... Well, let's make a knob on the end. Do we need two? No, no. I can make another knob. I need a little help. No, I don't. I don't need your help. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Make a knob. <laughs> Let's make three knobs. We just don't want that our beads fall off. Oh yeah, this is a good knob. No, they don't fall off. Here we go. That's that. And then you can wrap it around. One time, two time, whatever you like. It needs to be a little working. But if you do it a few times, then it will be working. But it's done. I really like this playful, it suits with the papers, it's so cute. And you still can um, add a little label um, on here if you like. I did, I, I made one um, for the blue one, but I can't decide if I wanted to use it or not. So I just kept it away for just a second and because I can't decide. But you can make a nice label over here uh, to write something down. Oh, right. What do you think? I like it. Okay, so let's glue it in together. So I'm going to peel the tape off. And let's use some glue. Really nice on the edges. Because you don't want any edge going loose you don't want that 
so especially on the edges and then inside here we go grab your page see if you watch to it won't be the first time that I add a page upside down <laughs> I bet you do that you did that two once in a while perhaps two times <laughs> I know I did so now at first I'm going to make sure that the edges are nicely attached with my glue then I'm just going to open this up for just a second and I'm just going to wrap my glue in all the way let's rub it in make sure that your page is good attached everywhere especially here on that edge is not going anywhere so what do you think two nice flippable page this can open to the left to the right and then we have a nice closure I think one time will do but yeah two times it still can oh right so yeah I love it it's so cute and I love that the balloons comes here at the bottom too. Cool. Love it. Okay, so look at this. Look how this looks together. Oh, wow. Love it. Love, 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 love it. And did you see how easy that is? It's just using up your scraps. Really? Okay. So, let's go to the next piece. Watching. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, we have done two pages, so now we go to the uh, well, one page of course. <laughs> so now we go to the next page. So grab a new base page, same as the first one. We made that together. Forgot cutting this off. Open. <laughs> But anyway, um, so grab your base page and let's see what we can do with it. 